I'm aware that this video may cause a bit of controversy just because, one, a lot of black people don't think they need to wear sunscreen to each his own. I'm not here to say exactly what you should do or what you shouldn't do. I'm just saying, if you choose to wear sunscreen, I think these sunscreens are the best sunscreens for black people. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Shannon Ashley here. About a year ago, I made this video talking about sunscreen foundations and why I feel like people should wear sunscreen foundation. Being a darker skin complexion, I've never been sunburned, so I haven't really got the negative effects of sun in that way. I do suffer from hyperpigmentation though, especially like on my upper lip area and like some dark spots here and dark spots on my body. And those dark spots usually come from acne scars. And I have found that when I wear sunscreen, those scars tend to fade much faster. And it's because in my opinion, the sun is not darkening them and making them darker, if that makes sense. So after I made that video, Super Goop, a sunscreen brand reached out to me and they sent me a cute little goodie box full of their products. And I was super excited when I got them and I wanted to share them with you guys, but I also really wanted to make sure that I used them and got a good idea of if I like them or not, just because they are on the upper side or the uppity side in price. So I didn't want to come on and just say, you guys have to go buy this. It's the best thing ever when I couldn't truly advocate for it. Now, a year later, I can't 100% advocate for every product, but I can say that some of these products are literally like the best sunscreen products I have ever tried as a black woman. I just have to share them. So, okay, so we're gonna start with the ones that I haven't used as much so far. So. Um, the first one is this glow stick and this is SPF 50. So that's what I really like about their products is they're all SPF 50. The thing about sunscreen that we should know though, is just because one product has SPF 50 and another product has SPF 50, those two don't combine for like two hours. I believe correct me in the comments if I'm wrong, but it's just saying from that moment that you put it on, you will get protection for up to an hour to two hours and the higher the sunscreen is the longer you'll have protection, but it doesn't last all day. So with that being said, this glow stick, um, when I first got it, I shared it with my mom and my aunt and I pumped it up too high. So it kind of got like super discombobulated and stuff. So I've honestly been scared to kind of use it, but it just comes off like kind of like clear deodorant. So I'm just rubbing it here, but it's literally clear, right? Kind of like an oil and then you rub it in and it gives you a little bit of sheen, but it's not oily and it doesn't stick to your skin. Like you feel it, but then it kind of just evaporates. Like no ashiness, like this hand, I haven't put on a ton of lotion yet, but this hand, like you guys can't, it's just a teeny bit more shinier, but no ashiness. That is like what black people ask for we want to you know if we're going to wear sunscreen we want to protect our skin but we don't want that ashiness and this doesn't give you ashiness i can say the only reason i haven't used it is because of the way i pumped it it's a little too hard for me to get off but i think this is perfect like if you're going out and working out in the morning you just want to like rub some all over you can rub it on your like neck and decolletage area and all of that um so this is awesome the only reason i literally haven't used it is because it's giving me a little bit of a hassle because I messed it up next <laughs> another product that i really haven't used is this oil um i was using the banana boat spray oil for the longest time it's like a tanning oil i just kind of used it to bronze myself um so that's why i haven't picked this up but i did put it on the other day and like the sunscreen glow stick it's really lightweight like it's this is a little bit more oily but it's not super oily let me show you guys there um, but it doesn't like leave an oiliness all day. Like you can just sense the oil, it goes in, but it doesn't leave your skin. I don't know. It doesn't leave your skin all like silky and stuff. It's just a nice absorbing oil, but it's not too glowy, but it gives your skin like a nice glow. It's just, it doesn't do the most. And that's what I like about it. And it doesn't leave you ashy. Like I hate when I'm ashy from sunscreen. And I can tell you guys, banana boat sunscreen always makes me ashy. That's kind of what like I compare this to because growing up, my mom would always like give us banana boat. And then finally when Neutrogena came out, we would put on the Neutrogena spray kind, which is so good. But 
I just kind of have bad memories from Banana Boat and that's why I've kind of been like not wanting to use sunscreen. But I'm so happy that companies have evolved and been able to make better sunscreens that aren't leaving us looking like an ashy blue whale. So these next three are my absolute favorite. This Unseen sunscreen. This one's actually SPF 40. This one is sweat and water resistant and the best thing about this you guys is it literally goes on clear like a lot of their products so look right and then you rub it in the feeling that kind of reminds me of Maybelline baby skin like that like it kind of reminds me of a primer um that's how it feels and then it just goes like it literally just evaporates no blue ashiness or anything like that it's just awesome so this says it's a weightless colorless scentless oil-free formula for face that smooths the appearance of pores, grips makeup in place, and leaves a soft velvety finish. So essentially it is a primer, but it's like this awesome sunscreen as well. Like what? This is just like a basic primer, but if you have oily skin like me, you guys know your girl has some crazy oily skin. This 100% mineral matte screen is my favorite. The only thing I don't like about this is this one universal tint. It drives me wild. But this right here leaves, and there's so much. I use this, like, I was using this every day, and then I put, took a break to try some other primers. Um, but this stuff leaves my skin so matte. Like, my makeup stays on all day. And I like that. I think I like it more as a primer than I like it as a sunscreen. This though, I can say leaves my skin a little bit ashy just because of the tint, but I'm putting makeup on on top of it so it's no big deal. So like if I wasn't wearing makeup and I wanted a primer sunscreen, I would just go for this. But if I was make wearing makeup or when I do wear makeup, I go for this. And this is like such a lifesaver. People always ask me like, how do you get your makeup to last all day? this like i'm testing it now where i haven't been wearing this and my makeup is looking kind of trashy but this i would just buy this as a primer like love that it has sunscreen in it but i would just wear it as a primer i love it that much and last so honestly like these two are my favorite and excuse me because this is a little um my makeup it's been in my makeup bag so it gets a little um brown because my makeup is brown um but this is the defense refresh setting mist and this is spf 50 so this is so crucial because you can take it wherever you go and refresh your makeup and put a new layer of sunscreen on so usually when i get dressed in the morning like if i'm going on a morning walk i will get dressed put on my sunscreen and then i will i have this dark spot corrector from aveeno it's in my opinion just sunscreen but i'll put that all over my face um as of uh, as well as like my moisturizer my rose water and then i'll seal it all up with this and i've seen so many changes to my skin like my dark spots are lightening and everything and it just feels good to know i'm outside and protecting my skin because a lot of people don't know this and i think as black people we just say you know black don't crack but the sun ages your skin guys like regardless like being out in the sun it's going it has damaging effects on your skin. Yes, our skin is more, I guess, stronger or less prone to visible damage. But regardless, being out in the sun is going to damage anyone's skin. And I don't know, potentially can make you just age faster. And aging isn't always, you know, aging comes in different forms. I will just say that. This is how this works. It has a little shaker thing, so it feels like a setting spray. And then it's just a nice mist. I can say though, this smell is, it takes some getting used to. It's very like peppermint, like very menthol-y, so it does take some getting used to. And I think the like peppermininess um, kind of like tingles too. So just beware, like this does not smell the greatest, but if you want to use it for what it's worth, do you. So this is SPF 50 in it well, and it says 40 minutes. I didn't realize all of them say. So actually, now that I'm looking at it, I don't know what the number <laughs> If you guys know exactly what the number means, let me know. But like this one says SPF 50, water resistant, 80 minutes. And this one is SPF 50, water resistant, 40 minutes. So I have no idea why. I'm just oblivious, I guess, as to why and how 
it lasts for that long. That is my review for the Super Group sunscreens, guys. Let me know what you guys think or if you would ever try these. Let me know what you guys think and if you guys would try these products. I will leave links to them down below. Um, they may be affiliate links. I have to see if I even have affiliate links for this one. But regardless, I will leave links down for you guys below. I know a lot of us are still inside and not going out. But, I mean, even if you just go outside for a little bit, the sun is always, you know affecting your skin and a lot of people that get older they say they wish they would have wore sunscreen every day so i'm just here to spread the news you guys don't have to wear sunscreen do you i'm just saying if you're black and you're like man i really want to start protecting my skin or if you're of darker skin tone and you're like i really want to start you know protecting my skin and you know blah, blah, blah. um a super goop is amazing that's all i gotta say no this video is not sponsored they just sent it to me um and i've been wanting to share this with you guys for a long time these have literally been sitting on my nightstand and i'm like shani you gotta make the video all right guys so that's it for this video i will see you guys in the next one bye